Jackie. Don't you remember me? Little Petey. Hey, hey listen. I need to ask a favor. Can you deliver a message for me? Sure. Well, you want me to whack someone? No, 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 no. no. This is strictly under up and up. It's not a job. It's uh, just a message. You take this envelope and give it to Mickey Famiano. He'll come into Canal Street on the A train. Jesus, Petey. Why not give me something a little bit challenging? How do I recognize this guy? Yeah, he's a cocky son of a bitch. Wears a hat. A red hat. Day and night. Yeah, you won't miss it. something, ma'am? Want some help? Oh, the Yaki, oh dear. I can't find my bracelet. My Harold gave it to me. It's down there somewhere. I can't imagine where it is. Holy mother of pearl, Jack. Everyone thought you was dead. We heard you flamed out the same time as that cocksucker Eddie Shrew. <laughs> That's one hell of a stunt you pulled. Where you been hiding? I spent a couple of weeks in a dark place. You wouldn't understand. Mystery man, huh? Well, you sure made some waves, son. The Chicago boys are considering pulling the plug on your dear old Uncle Pauly. He's on his knees, ready to suck whatever dick he can so they won't freeze his assets. He's holed up. Not even Butcher knows where. Schroet's people mentioned Mother of God. Now, I think it had something to do with the administration in Chicago. You know anything about that? Mm, strange. He and Pauly got religious? Run the name with Butcher. <laughs> He's gonna shit in his britches when you show up. You're supposed to be dead. So go see Butcher. He should be over Aunt Sarah's. He's, uh, helping around with some stuff or some shit. I, I don't know. <laughs> than most of the city boys I've seen around here. <laughs> Care to make a little wager? Just between friends? What you got in mind? See this coin? Let's say I throw it down the track and you go pick it up before the train gets you. I'm gonna throw four coins, just so you know. was a thrill. Too bad you didn't make it.
this sudden coming. Maybe it's that eclipse they were talking about on the news. Yeah, just feels weird. Whatever it is, it's big. I feel like a penguin trying to stop a runaway polar bear. Ain't your homeboy, you little bitch. Now, what do you want? I want you to go by Lower East and take care of this gang of shitheads that hang around Whitefish. Maybe that way, you do me and the city of New York a big favor. I'll even pay for the shit. The city won't. <laughs> thing was way too obvious. I figured it had to be something else. Now, I knew that Aunt Sarah and the Butcher were ready to see Schrott and Pauly's asses on a platter. I've already got an opening. Maybe they can help turn it into a gaping hole.
Jackie. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, thank the Lord. <sighs> Holy catfish. Jackie? Jackie, is that you? This problem with your Uncle Paulie has gone on long enough, Jackie. It's time to take action. I think the decision has just about made itself anyway, what with the way he's been carrying on. Now, some old friends of the family want to know what they can do to help. Eddie Schroeder's guy said something about the Mother of God. It was supposed to be an inside joke, but it meant something. Now, I think there's some kind of connection to the Chicago families, something Paulie wants to keep to himself. Mother of God? Like the Virgin Mary? You don't suppose he's talking about the Santa Maria? Mm -hmm. That's a Chicago family boat. It's been running shipments of drugs into the harbor for years. Knowing Eddie, he wouldn't resist the chance to talk about it to a dying man. <laughs> he always did have diarrhea at a mouth. Especially if there's something big going on. Chicago family's gonna be real interested in what happens here, Jackie. This is going to be your best chance to get Paulie out of the picture for good. You just say the word, and I'll help if I can. I want to know more about this Santa Maria, Butch. Anything there I can use against Paulie? Listen, Jackie, I would never normally say this. <clears throat> you know me. I never choose sides. But you already put a hole in Paulie's finances when you took out Dutch Oven Harry's operation. You put a few holes in that boat, Santa Maria. <laughs> the Chicago family's gonna pull a plug, and Paulie will find himself swimming to the bottom of the river. I need to know how to mess up Paulie's deal. They got people inside the Coast Guard. They usually wait for the coast to clear, and they call a Santa Maria in from the harbor to make a shipment. <clears throat> There's a radio they use, down at Grinders Lane, tuned to the correct frequency at all times. <clears throat> you get to that radio and call in, and they'll send the boat. <laughs> now you do what Butcher says. The boat's name is Santa Maria. You should go to Grinders Lane and find that radio. <laughs> <laughs>